Hey everybody, it's February 10th. I'm Nathan. And I'm Michael. And this is That Family Show. <laughs> Okay, this is episode number five. Cinco. Yes. See, I know French. <laughs> One year of French in hey. high school. Thank you, Miss Link. Southern Guilford Indians. Linko Cinco. I can't say Indians anymore. <laughs> you just did twice. I know, they changed. We're now the Phoenix or something, so. No. From the ashes. Isn't that insulting to birds? I guess so, and X Men characters. <laughs> right. Some of those movies were insulting to fans, yes. so it all comes around full circle. So, episode number five, uh, we've got a lot of stuff under our belt. So, for those of you that this is your first time, welcome. And be sure to check out our other videos if you end up liking this one. Uh, we've got four more other main ones and about, I don't know, 15 or so. 100, 1,500. <laughs> 1,500 or so uh, other, other little snippets you can check out. Um, we do reviews on toys, movies, games, um, fashion, <laughs> if you like leggings. <laughs> Worn by men. That's right. You're in the right channel. I'll use that term man loosely. <laughs> oh, man. So there, there's, there's plenty of stuff out there for everybody in the family. Um, we've had a week. Uh, there was... Um, Super Bowl. Do we even want to talk about that? Yeah. Okay. Go, was, go ahead, because I didn't watch it. <laughs> I didn't miss a play. Mm. And we had a bunch of folks over at our house, probably at least 20 people. My son and I were the only two people pulling for the New England Patriots. So we stayed up and watched every single second of the game. Whoa. And I believe when they won, uh, my Jacob and I woke the whole neighborhood with our screams and yells. So um, we do bow down at the feet of Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Mm -hmm. But we're in the minority. I get that. That's fine. <laughs> but you're not a football guy. No, I'm not really a sports guy. Were you watching some Veronica Mars reruns last <laughs> night? What was it? No, we were watching Flight of the Navigator. I would have stuck with Veronica Mars. <laughs> oh no, that movie is incredible. Well, excuse me. Any movie with the spaceship voiced by Pee Wee Herman, you can't go wrong. <laughs> you can't go right either, no. but you can't go wrong. We hung out at Wits this past week. Love some Wits frozen custard. Yeah, frozen is not ice cream. No. Not ice cream. Thousand and, times better. Yeah, if you haven't had custard, I'm sorry that you live such a sheltered life. Mm -hmm. Custard, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's like eating clouds mm -hmm. that taste like something. Yeah. I'm sure clouds would taste like something if you tried to eat it, but it probably wouldn't taste good. Cotton candy. That's what I always imagine. <laughs> or acid rain. Yeah. One, of, <laughs> <Pollution>. <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> mm, smoggy. We decided to go and check out. How they make custard, you know, what is custard, all the, they have tons, tons of flavors. Yes. And especially since it's Girl Scout cookie season, they had some Girl Scout cookie infused custard. And like a dummy, I didn't get any. <laughs> I got. I'm sure they still have some. Yeah, I'll have to go get some. But I, I ordered some and I got what I usually get. And then I got home and it was just a big face palm moment that mm -hmm. I could have got my tag along. Custard. Yeah, and shout out to Melinda, who was a very gracious host and did a wonderful job explaining to us all the wonders of wits and custard making. And uh, you're going to get to see all that tomorrow. So it's going to come up on Saturday, the 11th, and we'd love for you guys to, to check it out. And if you're around a wits uh, somewhere where you live, then definitely go check it out. And what's even better is if you watch that video, there's a little surprise at the end that if you're in the triad, you're gonna to wanna to check it out. Mm. If you like free stuff. Who don't love free stuff? Who don't? It's not often that two people have such an impact on the world, much less the internet. But we know two people who have really captured the heart of our viewers, and that's nice. Craig and Greg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're not talking about us? No, it's, it's Craig and Greg. You know, Jerks. I, I know. Still in our limelight. Man, and one of them doesn't even say anything. Just looks stupid. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you are talking about us. <laughs> I was. 
<laughs> I never changed. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Craig and Greg. Those guys are nuts. Um, but check them out. If you missed last week's episode, go back and check it out. Check out the previous ones. And on Sunday, a brand new episode brand of new. Adventures with Craig and Greg. Brand new. You got a couple of reviews. You, you told me you um, yeah. got some things in the mail, some for your kid's oh, birthday, man. and you're going to be reviewing those this upcoming week? Yes. Yeah, so we mentioned that we will uh, have some toy reviews, and I think we're going to have two coming up this week. Uh, my son, it, it was his birthday, so he got all sorts of stuff. One of them being the Hot Wheels parking garage. This thing is incredible. Like, I didn't know that it does all the kind of stuff it does, and it is about like this big. And you know he's that big. How long that take to put together? Uh, I didn't put it together. My <laughs> wife did. <laughs> but I, I was at work. I was at work when it showed up because he couldn't wait until I, I got home to open his stuff. So. So how long she, did it take Becca to put it together? I think like 45 minutes. <laughs> it's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's a neat toy. It's one of those Hot Wheels toys that um, you probably actually want to get instead of those with the track and you know it takes up half a room and you can't really put it anywhere long term you've always got to tear it down and put it back up no this is it it, it goes higher than it does wider <laughs> so you could put it together and leave it up so Excellent. we're gonna see some look forward to that it's gonna it does a lot of things it does a lot of things and a game review you want to show a new game you're gonna yeah. check out if you haven't heard of Pie Face, you will just now. <laughs> because I said it. I haven't played it yet, so I'm excited to play it and review it for you. Looks like a lot of fun. I mean, it's basically like a hot potato game, but you get pie in your face if you lose. So it's I, kind of a win-win, though. You know, I'm glad like, you were doing that one and not me. <laughs> You don't like pie in your face? No. I'm a big. I like pie. So. No. And and we got this game for Christmas, and the kids have been wanting us to review it. And I just right now I'm just speak out. It's the thing where you get the you put, oh. you put the things in your mouth, and your mouth is all spread open. And you're trying <laughs> yes. to talk. I'll do that in the privacy of my home. I am not comfortable yet doing that in front of the YouTube universe. So we are in the throes of winter. Um, it's cold out there. Not it's, today. Yeah, it's not really cold today. <laughs> not today we're filming. Today it's about 65 degrees and sunny. Yeah, and when we were at Wits, it was 30 degrees, so it's nuts. But as hard as it is to grasp, we find ourselves talking about it a lot. Like we're in those uncomfortable situations where we really don't know what to say, you always go to the weather. Yep. Hey, hey Jim. How about that weather? <laughs> it's, hey, it's, it's there. Oh, yeah, and we just kind of move on. So that's kind of a nice bridge to, well, I guess I got to go now. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about everything we can. We That's talk right. About the weather. <laughs> and anything beyond that, uh, it's too hard. Mm. Imagine what it's like for young children, say around the age of four, like my oldest, who we ask weather questions to, which you can see this week. Um, we asked them about tornadoes. Uh, if some of you are in the area the few weeks ago that got tornadoes in January, talk about weird. Um, so he, he was hearing all about the tornadoes and everything and kind of wanted to know what all that was about. So we decided to ask him, well, Liam, do you know what a tornado is? Do you know what an earthquake is? And he was giving us some very interesting answers. It's called um, flying objects of a volcano. And so it's going to be added to our Kid Tuesday. Yeah. And so we saw a couple weeks ago um, Joshua doing a little review of his Pac Man frog with the Critter Minute. And now we're going to have Liam's Weather Minute. Where yeah. you get to kind of share a little bit about his view of the weather and tornadoes and such. It's an interesting view. As always, we thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. We greatly appreciate it very much. Yep. And check out the Wits video tomorrow to find out how you could get free Wits custard from the Kernersville Wits Frozen Custard store. Hey, it's been fun. We'll see you next week. This is Michael. And Nathan. And we're that family show. Bye.